Top of the day, top of the day, top of the day to you, great listeners, great people of Biafra, lovers of freedom. Today we shall be taking you um, through what you should expect as a Biafran um, from the 2nd of December being when the Prime Minister and the Biafra Republic of Medina uh, is going to, you know, um, announce the redeclaration of the sovereign states of the United States of Biafra. And it is pertinent at this point because I wanted to uh, speak on this matter a long time ago when the PM made this proclamation that the declaration will come on the second. And I wanted to do some clarifications on that. But then I decided to wait and get more information and possibly allow the PM to do some clarification before we go further to explain certain things to our people. Because some persons will be, you know, people are very gullible and some people who just want to hear something and they run with it and begin to you know create propaganda here and there mm -hmm. so after the declaration you would hear people who would come out to tell you hey, where is your biafra you have done the declaration you have uh, declared biafra so where is the biafra where are you still in control you still have nigerian government and, and all of that it is a declaration that will mark that there are people who are actively fighting for Biafra. It is a declaration that will awaken the spirit of everyone that believes in Biafra. It is a declaration that will give the necessary push for the Biafra government in exile to begin to now start up their international um, um, diplomacy and meeting with international bodies to see how they could support the Biafran cause. And it is also a declaration that will signal, you know, the increase in volume of the activities and the resistance of the Biafra Liberation Forces or the Biafra Defense Forces. This declaration on the 2nd of December that is coming will signal a different level of defense, a different level of resistance, a different or an improved or a fierce level of, you know, uh, resistance by the men of the Biafra Defense Forces. What do I mean by this? I mean that when the declaration is made, there is this extra push that is given to the liberation and then the men of the Biafra defense forces will now begin to come out to the street they will now begin to you know uh, 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 delegitimize the already instituted government uh, uh, on a one-on-one -on -one basis it will now be on a physical basis it will now be on a level that is will i say unprecedented because it, will, it is going to be a first of its kind that these men will be actively coming out to the street and challenging whoever that is challenging the Biafra government in exile. And that will be done on the, all the oppressors, all the, 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 the tools of the oppressors is being suppressed and chased away completely from the land of Biafra. All the illegal occupiers are chased away. And that is what will happen in effect on the 2nd of December. And remember what the Prime Minister said earlier. He said that the liberation of Biafra is not just a one-sided something. It is a wholesome package. It is a multi-dimensional approach such that there will be international, you know, arrangements and meetings with international bodies. There will also uh, be meetings with African bodies and there will also be that resistance going on in Biafra land. And so all these things will be happening simultaneously and the push will be on. The fire will be on in Biafra territory and the fire will be on in the international world. And that is what will lead to a full and complete
freedom of the Biafran space. I would now allow you to listen to the Prime Minister where he will now shed more light on what uh, the Biafra government in exile plans to achieve. But then, do not expect him to tell you everything. He will tell you the little he wants you to know at this point. But then, know that immediately after the declaration, you will not expect that everything will just come in place immediately. No, there is going to be battles. And that declaration signals the beginning of the intense battle. The intense battle might take a year, it might take two years, it might take three years. But what it shows is that we are moving in the right direction and then the pressure will now be doubled or tripled and it is uh, a signal to assure every Biafran that it is a must that we are definitely going to get Biafra but it is just going to take some time people who uh, have gotten their freedom fought for many years they fought for 20 30 uh, 15 depending so do not be afraid times are interesting and it is pertinent that you follow the trend and follow what is happening for you to know the trajectory of this government. They are moving in the right direction and I support them 100% and we are moving. Biafra first. Listen to the Prime Minister and make sure you share this widely. Good afternoon, fellow Biafrans all over the world. Today is 20th day of August 2024 and I am here uh, speaking to you from my base in Finland. I want to inform every one of you because it has become very imperative as we approach December convention in Finland, you must know certain things. The declaration of the restoration of independence of Biafra that is to take place on the 2nd of December is targeted at achieving two objectives. One is the delegitimization of Nigeria. Two is the legitimization of Biafra. After the declaration, we are going to have a very long battle with Nigeria. But this battle, the good news is that we define how this battle will be fought. We will fight them diplomatically, we will fight them politically, we will fight them internationally, and of course, we will fight them locally. So, the 2nd of December is not after that. Some of you will come and say, oh, there is still military barracks. There is still, you are going to have them. But let me tell you, if the Vietnamese fought America for years and succeeded in making America to flee, we are ready to fight Nigeria even more than what Vietnamese did. And we dictate how this particular war will be fought. We are never going into conventional war with Nigeria. But the delegitimization will take a different tone. And what I'm trying to tell you people today is that you must be prepared for a very long years of battle for the legitimacy of Biafra government. It is not something that happened in one day. It is not something that happened immediately after our declaration on 2nd of December. For 2nd of December, we mark the beginning of a very long battle which we are going to show our determination with our actions and inactions. So my fellow Bia friends, all I'm here to tell you this afternoon is for you to understand that after the declaration in December on December 2nd, 2024, the battle begin. And we are not going to stop if it is going to take us 20 years to fight Nigeria differently than what we did in the 67 and 70 we are ready for it if it takes also 23 years for the ban to defeat america and they left their land we are ready to fight even 40 years since 1967 to 2024 nigeria continued to fight us the only thing is that we have not fought nigeria until now and in this fight, we are still defending ourselves. So 2nd of December will mark the beginning of the Biafra liberation. Do not expect something or any magic to happen. We will make the magic to happen. Thank you and may God bless you.